Movie Review by Rob. One. This is uh, Rob here for a review. Um, I'm going to do this one serious because uh, I think this movie was actually very good. Today I'm going to uh, review Doubt. Doubt um, was directed by John Patrick Shanley, uh, which little of you might know, uh, he's done a couple of screenplays. Uh, he actually did Congo, um, and I believe his last directing uh, debut, he's only directed one other film, and that was Joe vs. the Volcano back in 1990. This film stars Philip Seymour Hoffman, Meryl Streep, and Amy Adams. The general plot is set in 1964, and it centers around a nun who confronts a priest after suspecting him of um, sexual activities with uh, one of the students at this Catholic school. Uh, Amy Adams plays one of the younger nuns, uh, while Meryl Streep plays one of the strict older. I think everyone's performance in general in this was excellent. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman did a wonderful job doing uh, the priest, um, and Meryl Streep really nailed the, you know, the strict, uptight nun role. Uh, what I could probably say is, like, this this role is very comparable to uh, the Nurse Ratchet role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Whenever the character is on the screen, there, there's a very, a lot of tension, and there's a lot of power behind, like, almost every word that is said. Now, I know that this film was actually adapted off of a uh, play, uh, and I was talking to a friend of mine who actually informed me that the play was only about 85 minutes long. So there was a lot of, uh, you know, the, the running time of this film wasn't that much longer, but, you know, when they actually do on screen, they, they fluff it up a bit. They add more dialogue, some more backstory, and stuff like that. Um, so I think in doing so, though, the film was very solid. Uh, it's a very simple film. There's not a lot to it, not a lot of fancy, you know, camera work and whatnot. I mean, the scenes are still very well lit, um, and everything within them is, you know, adequate. But I think what, what this film really excelled at was uh, in the actual dialogue itself and the actual subject matter. Uh, and the performances alone by Philip Seymour Hoffman, Amy Adams, and Meryl Streep, as well as the, uh, the mother, Vi Viola Davis. Uh, plays the mother of the small child that is uh, suspected for um, b to be involved with the priest. Um, you know, she's only on the screen for about 10-15 minutes, but her performance just resonates through the entire film. Um, so, like I said, very strong on the performances. Pacing-wise, I mean, there are some slow points, but you have to realize this is a simple film. You have to really sit and pay attention to the dialogue. If you're not one for character development and for finding out things as it goes along, you know you might be bored in this. But if if you're if you're into plays, so to speak, since this was from a play, I mean it's kind of like watching a play. You know you're really there focusing on the performances and really trying to read the characters because even though this isn't a guessing game. It kind of turns into it because it's it's two really impacting characters versus each other. You have Meryl Streep, who is uh, com convinced that this character by Philip Seymour Hoffman is molesting this child, and then you have Philip Seymour Hoffman, who is you know playing this upstanding priest, who is saying that Meryl Streep is accusing him solely on her own interests. The the subject matter within the film was excellent. There was a lot of uh, metaphors. Um, hidden throughout the plot I'm not going to touch on them but I think like any movie nowadays that that really hits you really has more going on in it than just what is said they're not these you know cookie cutter action or dialogue pieces that are just thrown out there not really caring in this you could tell that every word was meant something um, that every word like moved the film forward and that every word actually came from as if it was coming from a real person. Like, you could see why it came from them, not just because the writer wanted them to say it. You could actually see somebody like that saying it. So, in general, Doubt, I would definitely recommend seeing. It's not in a lot of theaters. It's limited release. I had to go out of my way to see it. But uh, if you don't uh, see it in theaters, I would dec definitely recommend seeing it on DVD when it comes out. Look for it. Uh, if I had to rate this out of 10, I would give this about a 9, just because, like I said, some of the pacing is a little slow, and if you're not into this type of film, you're probably going to have a hard time enjoying it. 
but performance-wise, Philip Seymour Hoffman just keeps getting better and better, and Meryl Streep, this was like a role that she really deserved to play. You hear about all those old, old-time Catholic schools and how strict they were and the uniforms and the children. Like, the children also, let me touch on that real quick, the children's performances, uh, the, the school children, even, like, they got wonderful performances. I think they were supposed to be playing, like, 8th graders, so that's, like, 12, 13-year-olds, and I think, like, that as well as the time period really played well. So, in general, uh, 9 out of 10, uh, definitely recommend it. And remember, next time, I'll be watching.